Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have our hands on the LG B1 OLED 4K TV in 55 inches. Released this year as a part of the new OLED range LG announced in early 2021, the B1 is a relatively low-cost, high-quality, entry-level TV alongside the A1 model. Taking it out of the box, it's quite easy to remove the outer packaging by yourself and all of the accessories just sit in the top opening. Alongside the TV, you'll find a handful of accessories, such as your standard instruction manuals, a cable tidy in a back panel to help you with the wall mounting, and a magic remote. Peeling back the plastic, you can get just a little glimpse on how delicately thin the display is on this TV, which is pretty impressive. So this TV is compatible with a VESA wall mount, giving you the option to either hang it on the wall to save space or mount on the stand provided. Once you've carefully placed your TV face down on a covered surface, attaching the stand just requires clicking it into place on the back and securing it with the four screws provided. The power cord is unfortunately attached to the back of the TV, so there's no possibility of replacing it with a longer cable if you need to. It's not too bad of a length when it's on a stand, but if you're considering wall mounting it, you might have to keep it close to an outlet. So now it's on the stand, it does a great job of keeping it stable and the finish looks clean. Moving around the back is pretty clean with an array of ports on the right side and minimal amount of vents. Though the screen is ridiculously thin, it does hold a sizeable box on the back for all of the ports and vents, making it not as streamlined as some of the thin models on the market. So in terms of ports, we have a LAN and aerial connection, optical digital audio and 3.5mm headphone port, three USB ports, four HDMI ports and a common interface. One of the most interesting things about this TV is the HDMIs. Now even on the back you can see that LG is excited to point out that it supports full 4K at 120Hz, with that sought after 2.1 compatibility, meaning that you can play the latest next gen consoles to their full potential. The setup stage can be quite a lengthy process with modern TVs, especially when connecting other devices and logging into all of your accounts. Now right out of the gate you get to set up with the Magic Remote. Now this is a pretty innovative piece of tech, allowing you to use the remote as a pointer to navigate screens easily as opposed to pressing a series of buttons. But from here you can choose to activate the AI functions that adapt the picture and sound for greater clarity. Of course, you will need to program in any TV sources such as your satellite and cable to access the live television signals, but this section can be skipped if you'd like to do this later. After logging into your LG account, the welcome screen brings you to the home dashboard for navigating inputs and keeping track of all of your connected devices. I did find that the inclusion of the Magic Remote is kind of helpful when it comes to navigating quick menus. The inbuilt microphone lets me directly ask ThinQ for specific programs and even recommendations, as well as having the handy built-in buttons for most popular streaming services to let me move directly to the app with just a press of a button. The menu system is quite easy to move around, listing apps and settings before moving down into displaying the most recent TV shows from popular streaming services in a great visual tile system. So taking a look at the display quality, we have a 4K OLED screen with a 3840 by 2160 resolution and HDR capabilities. It gives you that next level crystal clear picture using LG's signature self-lit pixels compared to the usual LED backlit tech. And because of the OLED display, you also benefit from that fantastic ultra thin screen. The B1 takes a step up in the affordable TV range by offering 4th gen Alpha 7 processor and game optimization. The display comes in 55 and 65 inches respectively, but now you get the option to choose the larger 75 inches which hasn't been available until now in the B range. Although not essentially part of the gallery style TVs that LG had in mind when comparing it to the likes of G1, but it's still great to see that the art gallery feature is available on this TV. Choosing from a range of interchangeable art selections, you can pass off your TV as a hanging picture when it's not in use. It's a refreshing change from the static black box that usually takes up space on the wall, and though the effect isn't quite the same when it's on the stand, it makes a great talking point or a mood setter when having friends over or just relaxing at home. So taking a look at the overall performance of the display, I tried out a variety of content from TV shows to games to see how well it presented in terms of contrast, colour, brightness and viewing angle. The B1 boasts inclusion of AI upscaling and optimization. Though new to this year, we have some added features including object enhancement, scene detection and auto volume leveling. One of the benefits of having an OLED is the self-lit pixels giving out individual colour matching and perfect contrast points, all mixed with the adaptive smart technology for superior picture. So playing TV shows in an evenly lit bright room, I felt it worked perfectly well. The picture was incredibly sharp, with beautiful deep blacks and true to life colours, and I feel like I could see everything happening even in the slightly gloomier scenes of a TV show. 
Looking at the screen from a sharper angle, I could see the whole image with no distortion, and though I did get a little glare from the windows, it's good to see that no matter where I sat, I could still see the picture comfortably. On the other hand, when watching dark scenes, I found it was a little hard to see what was happening in the shadows when watching during the day. The common issue with most OLED TVs is the brightness levels. Where it benefits from deep blacks and contrasts, it can struggle to put out a true bright picture compared to backlit TVs. The brightness levels here were set at a default 50, and when I bring the brightness up to its peak, I can see much more, but the blacks are bleached out, taking away that crisp image. Though I did find watching the same TV show in a dark room made a lot of difference, bringing back that much needed clarity to the image that the show intended for me to see thanks to the AI brightness features that you get with this TV. So I did play around with a lot of the settings on this TV, and from what I could see it had a lot of specialised modes that really help you personalise the display to whatever you watch the most. It also has some really nice little features that make viewing comfortable, such as the blue light reduction and the AI sound. When it comes to changing the settings in apps, I found that the neat sidebar that appears on the left side of the screen is really handy when wanting to change settings quickly. Its convenient toggle switches make changing display and sound settings an easy process, instead of trawling through menus to find the setting that I'm looking for. Of course, when testing the sound settings for this TV, I found the various intelligent features I'd applied worked relatively well, as I didn't need to touch the volume controls at all when flicking between different types of content. So of course we have Dolby Atmos to thank for this, for optimising content and delivering a brilliant inbuilt surround sound, for even distribution no matter where I sat around the screen, giving off major cinematic vibes. Of course, I'm not surprised that this TV does all the work with little input from me, as it does hold that all-important next-gen processor with automatic adjustments that adapt to my preferences in real time. Finally, let's look into what the B1 can do when gaming on the latest consoles. OLED are perfect for gaming due to their combined light and colour diode output and fast response times. Even for an essentially budget TV, the fact that the B1 has an 120Hz refresh rate at 4K that supports variable refresh rate makes it stand out when combined with OLED technology. We tried out the Xbox Series X on this TV to put a few of the gaming features through their paces. Now the B1 is an officially certified AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync TV designed specially to work with the Xbox Series X. So of course we chose the high-speed Forza Horizon 4 to give an idea on how it coped with fast-moving content. As you can see, the variable refresh rate comes nicely into play here with an ultra-smooth picture with zero visible lag on our end. I felt the colours really popped and for a fast-moving game it felt incredibly comfortable to play. One of my favourite features here is the game optimizer mode and menu. It allows you to simply toggle settings on and off to see the differences in play with or without boost features, as well as offering little sliders for tweaking blacks and whites and interchanging the game modes to match your preferences. So after trying out the B1 for a few hours, it's clear to see that this TV is a clear contender. It's low in cost but doesn't cut back on quality, giving you the latest OLED tech at an affordable level. The menus are easy to navigate and it didn't take me long to personalise to my favourite apps and devices. As an avid gamer, it's comfortable to know that I can upgrade to the latest console and not compromise on display and performance quality with this TV, as it tries to include as many high performance features as possible. I felt movies and TV shows looked brilliant in various light conditions, and with the intelligent features in place, it was just so easy to settle down into the action without feeling the need to alter anything. So I hope you've enjoyed this review of the LG B1 OLED TV 2021 edition. So don't forget to subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews of the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.